Hello everyone and welcome to a new video by Less Tax to Pay. We are doing Sage Business Cloud and activating the CIS, doing some contractor and subcontractor invoices and show you the, generally the CIS module in Sage Business Cloud. Uh, this is the first video I'm doing for Sage, so let's give that like button a smash. Also, I'd like to say thank you to everyone that's placed a comment on our previous videos. Uh, we've replied to every single one and also the people that have subscribed to the channel uh, thank you very much it is very humbling that people are finding these videos useful and we're nearly at a milestone of 200 subscribers so please let's get to that milestone very quickly and then we can move on and get more and more people knowledgeable about the software because these are going to become very important in the next i'd say 18 months to two years for a lot of people not just limited companies uh, but for a lot of sole traders and self-employed. So let's get the word out about these videos and how they're helping people. So let's get into the video. So what we're going to do is show how to activate the CIS module first off, uh, and then we're going to do a sales invoice and then a purchase invoice showing CIS, the deductions, and how the reverse charge works. So let's get into the activating the CIS module. We go to settings. We go to construction industry scheme CIS now you can see I've already set it but what you would do is you tick this I'm CIS registered you also ticked what you are so if you take if you're a contractor and a subcontractor that's fine you tick both and you just fill in with your details and set your deduction rate and then what you would do is you would press save and it will tell you give you a window saying that this is irreversible and you need to make sure that this is correct and activate the CIS. Once it's activated, then we have the opportunity to create our sales invoices, create our contractors, create our subcontractors, and start entering their details into the system. So what we'll do is we'll start doing a sales invoice. Now, I'm going to create a new invoice and call this Bob's Construction. Okay. Add a customer right so I need to have an address in here so I'll do 169 High Street Barnet Hearts Ian 55SU right, it's UK uh, account default we're gonna put to ah right well let me put the CIS because I haven't made him CIS registered so I have to put him in CIS now it's saying the default ledger account is 4900 it's not the CIS account on here for um, CIS is actually that one. Let's just get rid of that. That dragged over. Okay. Now you can also see just underneath that I have the opportunity to do that reverse charge. So if everything I do for this con contractor falls under the CIS scheme, I can automatically set this and it will automatically deal with the VAT reverse charge. Now I'm going to say that that's the case. But if you do select that option, you do have to put the contractor's VAT number in. So again, just put a random one in. And it says now I can select the VAT reverse charge. So if I save that, you can see here that it's created the customer successfully. I've already created my CIS labour. Okay. And it's thousand pounds for the week and what you can see is that it's actually defaulted to 49 but if I change that very quickly you can see here now let's just explain it's actually worked out my VAT amounts it's worked out the total is 1200 pounds so a thousand pounds plus VAT and if you look a little bit lower you've got the amount X VAT of a thousand pounds the 200 pounds VAT that you would normally pay on the invoice the reverse charge of £200, which makes this a total of £1,000 again, plus the deduction at the bottom of £200, which means the amount after CIS is £800. Very, very simple invoice. Very, very simple layout. And now what you can do is you can either save and close, save and new, uh, save and print. So I'm just going to save and new. And let this save the invoice. Invoice saved. So if I now go into my invoices, you can see I've got one here, Bob's Construction, total of £1,000, CI suffered, £200, outstanding £800. That's actually also very clear as well. Uh, that's one of the things I didn't know about Sage. And it shows that it's been, if it's been issued and whether it's unpaid. 
that's the sales side. So that's if you're invoicing a contractor. Now let's go on the other side and, and a subcontractor is invoicing you. So let's create a new invoice. So, so, so I will call it Dave's construction this time. And a supplier. Okay, Dave's construction. Again, email address. Let's put them at the same. Um, Parts EM55 SU United Kingdom default account code would be oh, I don't know what it's here. It would be oh, I have to select CIS. There you go. Set to touch right. Right, so I have to go to the CIS tab. Say CIS registered. Go deduction rate twenty percent. It helps me to put the uh, the. That's fine. Set the organisation type. I'll just put as a sole trader. That's fine. Back reverse charge. No. Just save that for a second. We'll go back into um, Dave Construction to edit. So if we go to suppliers, we'll just leave this invoice for a second very quickly. And we go to Dave. Right. So you can see it's CIS is ticked. We just want to edit, uh, not his name, we want to edit some details. So there we go. Contact addresses, payment details, options. Okay. We want to edit his standard um, default. So you can see here CIS labor expense, CIS labor purchase. Well, he only supplies us labor. And also, he's VAT registered, so we'll put his VAT number in. That's fine. Uh, too long. There we go. Okay, so we'll save that. But actually, I did, it didn't save. Why did it save them as CIS? I'm confused now. I'm finding this out as much uh, at the same time as you. Um, there we go. See, I labor expense. Save. Okay, so we saved it. Let's see how it works. So now let's go into the purchase invoices. Like oh, I so said, this is my first video I saved, so I'm still getting used to it a little bit. Okay, we're creating the invoice. That's fine. It says it's using a reverse charge. Fine. Um, we can just type in the description, so uh, labor, and he gives us an invoice for a thousand pounds. So again, same as the sales invoice, you can see here that it has a thousand pounds, rate of 20%, VAT amount of 200 pounds, total 1200 pounds. Underneath, amount X VAT, a thousand pounds, the VAT, 200 pounds, reverse charge, 200 pounds, total a thousand, deduction of 200 pounds, at 20% of a 20% of thousand pounds and the amount after CIS. So if we go save and new, that's now included on the VAT returns. That's how you create the invoices. And if we go to the purchase invoice is and we go right, okay, let's click on the invoice we just created. And now we want to see it. So you can see here this invoice includes the ICD returns, read more, da da South Labour, that breakdown. Right, let's um there you go. That's the invoice there. That's it created for you. Gives you a little breakdown, thousand pounds total. Nets off the VAT, so you're absolutely fine. Okay. That's how you create the invoices. That's how you can see that it's applying the the reverse charge. Uh, and that's very, very simple. So that's it for today. It's a bit longer than normal. Uh, but like I said at the start, thank you to everyone that's commented. Thank you to everyone that's subscribed. Hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. We're doing videos on Sage Business Cloud, Cashflow, QuickBooks, Zero. We've got a new one, FreshBooks. 
uh, coming up soon. Uh, Dext, which is Receipt Bank, it's just its new name of uh, called Dext. Um, we will be looking at other automation tools as well, a bit like Auto Entry. Entryless is another one. Uh, Expensify is another uh, expense reclaim tool. We'll be looking at all of them. So keep tuned. And until next time, stay safe.